I'm Marty. all of car town was there and wasn't that fun playing pin the tailgate on the dump truck and having three kinds of ice cream and then cake and then one more kind of ice cream I don't think and all the presents had pretty wrapping paper and ribbons and there were balloons and streamers everywhere that was great wasn't it pep looks like pump finally underwent pep? puberty as well true hey pep where are you going that's how I feel, Pep. <laughs> it's Pep's depression arc. <laughs> Shh. What's the matter, Pep? Didn't you have fun at the party? No, I hated Clarence. <laughs> I don't like go. people. Wait a minute. You never had a birthday party, have you, Pep? <laughs> Man, you're a terrible owner. In fact, I don't even know when your birthday is since you were lost when I found you. Sorry, boy. I guess that's why you're so unhappy. Wow. And your bowl is empty too. You're a <laughs> terrible owner. Wait. Do I get you some puppy food? Why is this sounding like a like a depressing like I'm broke, my dog's dying, we have no money in the house. <laughs> Take the last four pence and get Yes, this is bottom. like what it feels like. <laughs> so hi, welcome everybody to another Humongous Entertainment Junior Adventure. I've mentioned this in passing before. There is another Puppa game. It's this one, Pup Putt Pep's Birthday Surprise. And as you can see from the UI and the voice acting, this was made by a different company, and its quality is much, much lower it than the other ones. It is not good. For it what is we... uh, pretty bad. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> I've never beaten this game before. I've beaten it once, and I don't remember anything about it really, except that it was bad. So, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be learning together today. We will probably get stuck because I remember there were some unintuitive puzzles. I I cannot believe that he, he's had this dog how many years now? What year did this come out? Like two thousand three? Something like that. The first you've one was like ninety three. You've had Pep for ten years, and you forgot to feed him for like five of those. <laughs> he's dead. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> I need to get you some puppy food. First thing we're gonna do is immediately disable full screen so I can keep an eye on all the stuff that's recording at this moment. Sounds there we good. go. All right, yeah, so this is Pep's birthday surprise, an exciting game where the entire premise is Pep not being able to have a birthday. Can I please remove this? Can you hit X? Oh, never mind. You have to click the keys to toggle the menu, I guess. Yeah. In a way, I kind of like this game for like being like, hey, remember this like continuity back in your first Puppa game? Yeah. What do you know about that? Like, I'm yeah. like, that's cool. But uh, as you can see, I feel like the uh, the writing is really terrible. <laughs> like, Wasn't it great that we had cake and then another kind of ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the voice actor who does Puppa is probably not giving it his all, but also the script writers were probably. No, I, I think they got a 12 year old over. off the street, and I think this might have been during the time with the writer's strike, perhaps, of the early 2000s. That, that's it, so, Marty. So that's maybe it. Maybe that's why the script is so bad. Yeah, so while we really like Humongous Entertainment and we love the Papa games, this is an exception, so we're going to be but making fun of the game to, a lot. I'm trying to go in with an open mind because I haven't actually Okay, fair the enough. Game. But um, if, if it's bad, I will be pointing it I out. I guess so. Putt Putt is now ha is a trombonist. Is that how you say it? No, this is actually in more continuity because this is in his house and Puppa travels through time. He plays catch with Pep. Uh, maybe. He plays basketball. Actually, most of this stuff is actually consistent with what it was in his house and Puppa travels Why through time. Why haven't we? So actually, we'll give them that. Why wait, haven't wait, we wait, had hold this? On. <laughs> what was that? Okay. <laughs> okay. But who's putting on a sock puppet show in your sports basket? I know you guys have disbanded, but we need the epic sequel to this amazing trilogy of Putt Putt called Putt Putt Basketball Star. What do you mean trilogy? There are way more. This is Putt Putt okay, 7. We call it the Star Wars trilogy, but there's like six movies or seven. So, and only that many. Well, there are three Star Wars trilogies. That's no, cool. there's only two as far as I'm aware. No, there's free, whether you like the last Ooh, one or not. Ooh, well, all right, let's actually leave his garage. Pep's bowl is empty. I should go get him some puppy food. Maybe uh, later. <laughs> turn on the radio, though. Oh, yeah, the radio's different. Come on down to Rover's Rockety Ice Cream. 
With names like Rocket Razzleberry, Solar Strawberry, and Orbit Orange. You just know Rover's ice cream is out of this world. But will it give you a stroke? That's the real question. The real no, it's ice question. cream, not milkshakes. We should be okay. Ice it's cream is in milkshakes, Artie. Money. Well, hop on down to Baldini's where the carrots are always fresh. That's it. The lip sync we even only, on the radio is not We only right. sell the carrots and nothing oh, else. Oh, sorry, you put the butt. Sounds best. Something, something, buy some now, yada, 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 natural environment, this and that. Hit the logo and we're out. What's the weird hippie channel? What were they even yada, advertising Yada, yada, environmental for? friendly, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Party store is the place where the fun parties start. We have all your party needs from banners to streamers. So race on down before your next party and get all your party needs. I'm sorry. Yay. Can Putt Putt only go 35 miles an hour in this game? Yep. What a downgrade. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's let's leave. Marvel, let's watch him pull a bunny right out of his hat. Yes, folks. Wait, is Marvel that the magician is Marvel, guy the from magician the circus? Is the yeah. Entertainment for all your parties. That is that have is. Them that is, <laughs> that is one thing I will point out. They did they did do a good job in this game of like bringing a lot of fun characters back from the previous games, and also some not fun characters. Okay, <laughs> I just want to point out that was absolutely like ASMR <laughs> radio <Yep>. channel. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. I like the horn in this. It's like I, emojis I before but emojis. Like if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's yeah. that's my idea. Hey, Pep, come with me. I'll run over to the feed store and get you some puppy food right yeah, now. He's dying, Artie. He can't hop we, in the car. Are we sure we're going to leave Pep on his own? He looks very depressed. I'm worried if leaving him on his own. <laughs> I'll no, he's fine. Real soon with your puppy food. Why is there a clock with Pep's face on it? You have 15 minutes to come back before Pep dies. Oh, look, it's our collectible for the game. Hey, a rubber band. <laughs> what? I'd better save this. You never know when a rubber band might come in handy. <laughs> they did not do a good job lip syncing. You never know when hey, a rubber band might come in handy. I'm barely opening my mouth. Oh, there's a bird egg. Oh, oh it's yeah. all their birthdays. Hello. There's a rubber... I've never seen rubber band collect. Oh. What the heck is in this? I at least like how they still have that nice hand-drawn art style. Me too. Okay, Masai, you and your sisters need to go back to the zoo, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Outback Al in this? I forget. I don't remember who's in this. Well, they have some characters where it's like, oh, cool, it's great to see this character back. But then it's also like, oh, remember that security guard from uh, <laughs> Joins the Circus? Yeah, he's in this game. Oh, Everyone boy. loved Tank. Okay, let's go to Feed. Oh, my favorite place. Right after place. Feed. Feed. Not as good as Eats, though. Howdy, Putt Putt. Who are you? Hello, you Mr. Kibble. What kinds of puppy food do you have today? I'd like to get something special for Pet. Just has the well, samples your ready. timing couldn't be better. I just got some new flavors in. Spicy taco, kiwi, peanut butter, and new improved original with lumps. What? I we need the taco one. advice on which flavor he likes best. Is he with you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Kibble. Pep stayed home. He's sad because he's never had a birthday party. Wow, you well, sound like the worst I'd be sad ever. too. Why hasn't Pep had a birthday party? Well, I really don't know when his birthday is. He was just a lost little puppy when I found him in that cave. Flashback. Oh, I was joking. Oh, okay. That's, that's cool. so cute. That's actually really cute. Wait, that's... I love the callback. That's Why nice. Why not I like celebrate that. Pep's birthday on the day you first met? When was that? Today. Let's see. The anniversary of when we met would be tomorrow. That's convenient. That's your answer right there. Tomorrow can be his birthday. Wow, what a great idea. And how about we throw him a surprise party? Pep loves surprises. And he won't see it coming. <laughs> he terrific. sure won't. And I already know what I'm going to give Pep for his birthday. One of these brand new top-notch collars. Nice. That would be swell, Mr. Kibble. Oh, I didn't say you were invited, Mr. Kibble. <laughs> gift for Pep. Say, I, have so many, I have so many questions. To go with the collar? You bet. Did I hear it's someone the mention cup. a birthday party? 
I can rent out the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Putt Putt. Hello, Ms. Widget. Yes, we're going to throw a surprise party for Pep. Will you help us? Nope. Of course. <laughs> I've planned so many fabulous parties that I've got it down to a science. Shh. Here's one of my special surprise party planning bags. It's got room for everything you'll need. Balloons, party favors and decorations, confirmation from a magician, your gift for Pep, and a big beautiful party. One of these things is not needed. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Widget. I can get all of these things. It'll be the best surprise party it's ever. It's not like a magician That's the hat. spirit. It's and be sure to come by my party store later. I'll whip up a big. You can't have a birthday party birthday if a magician doesn't approve of it first. Just for fun. Duh. I sure will. What if he doesn't Thanks, like Ms. magicians? Uh, well, then, too bad for him. Okay. Well, um. Hmm. <laughs> A lot, a lot just happened in that okay, cutscene. Okay, so Mr. Kibble is a car that sells exclusively dog food. And collars. And collars. And Conveniently, right next to... I think Pep's the only one that has, like, an actual dog, other than the dog parade people. So They still have a car now. He has maybe, like, seven customers. True. A week. <laughs> if that. <laughs> Except, but they're, everyone else is more responsible than Papa. They actually bought dog food for their dogs on a regular basis. Mr. Kibble's <laughs> like, man, I haven't seen you here for like a year, Papa. <laughs> I thought your dog died. <laughs> oh, no. We just traveled through time to buy dog food back when it was less expensive. <laughs> actually, that's pretty smart. Honestly, Papa, Papa. Papa based. Yeah, so he has different flavors of dog food. Extra spicy taco. <laughs> Kiwi. <laughs> peanut butter. Peanut butter and, and new and improved original. How do you improve on the original? I don't know. Okay, and we need <laughs> we need just to confirm that the, the party can no, happen. This why does this feel like um <laughs> There's the freaking goat back from why the first Why does this feel game, like because like Catholicism, right? They do what? they do the no, going with they this? have they have the thing where they're like, you get baptized as a baby and then you need to confirm with like first confirmation. Why does it feel like <laughs> this birthday is like your birthday had, isn't legitimate unless a magician comes in? This is sounding like a cult. <laughs> it is. Well, she was explaining that she was like shopping. party favors, a birthday cake, a confirmation from a witch. Not a witch. From a witch? That's a very different game. <laughs> what the heck? What are you reading, dude? A manual on how to make dog collars? If you bring in Pep to taste the new flavors of puppy food, I'll measure him for that collar. Oh boy, but, but, secretly. Don't forget to bring Pet back to try my new puppy food flavors. And while he's here, I can measure his neck size for his new dog collar. Cool. Do, Mr. Kibble. So anytime we go to a new location, this pep clock appears in the upper left corner. Are, are we on a time limit in this game? It's like Majora's Mask. We have to beat Dawn it of a the, certain amount you of have, time. You have to beat it before it's Pep's birthday. Maybe that's, that's, kind of, maybe that's, that's kind of how I didn't beat the game. Hey, Pep, we got taco-flavored dog food. Please come pep. with us. Hey, Pep. Mr. Kibble has some exciting new flavors of puppy food. Well, some of and them he'd like exciting. you to come try them. One of them's new and improved. Pep's like, all right, there's some light in my life after all. <laughs> He's very cute, but like, aww, I he like looks, his little model. He looks a little derpy in this, but. In a good way. <laughs> he still has the good old fashioned pep sound and stock mark, sound. Mark. Hooray! You know what's sad? I don't remember ever getting Pep into my bed, into the <laughs> car. <laughs> you just thought he was in a depressed state for the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. I think I played this though when I was, oh gosh, like five? Yeah, it's been a while. I don't while. think I've played this since. Feed. Hello again, Putt Putt. And hello there, Pep. <laughs> hey, Pep, it's our old friend, Mr. Kibble. Why don't Remember you, you haven't seen him in five house? years? Because you haven't eaten Even our days. old friend. He's not in any of the other Papa games. <laughs> Pep, just keep your eyes closed. <laughs> wow. How did Pep not notice that? He's like, give me my Whoosh. food. It's on a tablecloth and everything. Go ahead and try those new flavors, Pep. I wonder which he'll choose. Wonder if, he's if he chooses taco, kiwi. Kiwi, peanut butter, or new and I do remember on my first place when he chose the taco. Nope, he's choosing peanut butter. Let's see which one Pep liked. Spicy taco. Never mind. Spicy taco! Yes. 
Pep's got good taste. That's the best one, buddy. Certainly. Shh. Here you go. On the house. I can make my own dog food in the future, though. So, like... Thanks a bunch, Mr. Kibble. Thanks, Mr. Kibble. Thank you for the taco-flavored grub. I think Pep might enjoy a frolic in your new ball hut. <laughs> well, of course. What? Pep, what did he say? Dive right in? A frolic in the new ball pit. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Do we just leave him here for the whole game? I think so. <laughs> now that I've measured Pep on the sly, Aww. I just need a tag for his new collar. Pep heard that, dude. <laughs> no, he was submerged in the balls at that time. <laughs> No, I know, I know we don't just leave Pep here for the whole game because I remember there's a very annoying puzzle where you have to keep making Pep leave. Oh. <laughs> Come on down to Rover's Rockety Ice. So, okay. so want to go like for a ride? Razzleberry, solar, strawberry, and He's like, I kind of wanted to stay in the ball pit for a little while. But well, right. maybe not. So, <gasps> oh, Ducks! Cute. Yes. I was going to say, I, oh, shoot. <gasps> it's our favorite, Smokey. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's like, I haven't forgotten oh, how you the, set the building on pick fire. Pick up the rubber band. <laughs> the cute little duckies are in the way. <gasps> They're playing the music from Zoo at the chuck yeah. wagon. Yeah. I'll have to get those. I can't This could be your new Be Right Back screen. Okay, we have to clear the ducks before we can pick up the rubber band. Okay. Team Fat. Now I'm <laughs> tour. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a reference to one of the composers of Humongous Entertainment. I is think. it? Uh, one of the guys also, is like, I think George the Fat Man Saner. So I love the Helvetica font on the board that's like not, <laughs> <laughs> this is so badly designed. Oh my gosh. Also, I'd like to think the lore of this game is that uh, Pep and Putt Putt love going to Taco Bell all the time. So Pep's just like, I love the spicy taco flavored dog it food. It reminds me of back when we used to go out. Those were the days. Pup Pup's like, can I get a Baja Blast and a Chalupa? It, looks, it also looks like Cartown has changed a bit. Because this is supposed to be the intersection where the race is oh, on the left side. Cartown 500? Yeah, but now Smokey's on that well, side. Well, maybe that's like a tra traveling thing. String. What is this advertising? String. String. Uh, what do you think it's advertising? Obviously your licensing pet. your pet. Cool. Kibble's feed. New flavors daily? Smart cars drink Yumco. Ah! <laughs> oh, is that anything like ga gasoline's really expensive nowadays? Oh my gosh. So I like Yumco instead. That's a really slow the transition. Car Town Car Wash. Oh. She looks like she's enjoying it a little too much. Yeah. All, All right. right. I can't get past those baby ducks. You gotta get the dog out, right? Pep, the mama duck could use your help. Oh, I was going to honk the horn to make them leave. <laughs> oh, no, that probably would have scared them. Yeah, we don't want to scare the cute little duckies. That could have ended I way guess poorly. I getting your ducks in a row. Oh, okay. I'll give you that one, Papa. That was pretty good. Aww. Good boy, Pep. Now that the baby ducks are safely in the pond, I can continue driving. Is that a musical trash can? Oh, hey, it's her. It's the male lady. Oh, a second rubber band. Gotta keep picking She's those like, up. She's like, putt, putt, get out of the way. I'm Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're USPS. Oh. Hello, Mildred. Mildred. Hi, putt, putt. Do she you got have new any voice mail actors. for me to deliver? No, I like it. but I've got a surprise. Can you keep a secret? Of course. I'm a mail truck. I don't read your postcards and I keep secrets. We're giving Pep a surprise birthday party tomorrow, and I want to invite everyone. Splendid! I'll spread the word to everyone! I just said keep everyone a secret. Pep. Here oh. we go. Okay, the song here is actually pretty great. This is the only part of the game I remember, other than another kind of ice cream. <laughs> yep. I love the flashback sequences. I've got a secret. I just had to let you know. I've got a secret. A place you need to go. It's the party of the century that no one knows oh, about. Oh, we got hippie car. Everyone will be there. Ooh. Do not let the secret out. And the secret way to act there. And the secret thing to wear. Is to look your like best and love everybody there. <laughs> I could climb the highest mountain, 
I could shout it out all day. <laughs> He's like, I made it here first. It's my area. Tons of bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was part of the song. And the limo from the mansion, and the grocer from the store, and some Martians from a putt putt game that you have played before. <laughs> what if this was your first putt putt game? Nobody starts putt putt seven. Putt putt seven. Your best and love everybody there. All right, it's time to invite every dog in the entire town. Even Mr. Firebird? Not him. <laughs> no, he's not invited. And that's the intro to Papa Pep's birthday surprise. <laughs>